Hey guys, it's Rob Trigg with Jet Lending. I'm the senior loan officer here. Customer service. I want to give you today an example of good customer service versus bad. <clears throat> good customer service in my book is being available 24 seven. And I don't mean literally being available 24 seven, but I mean being available on the weekends and holidays. So when you found a property and you need answers in a timely manner, we're available for you. <clears throat> I oftentimes on the weekends, I will take phone calls and I will get you numbers back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Bad customer service. When you are literally in a clinch and you need a pre-approval letter and you need some numbers on a property and you can't get a hold of your hard money lender, I think that's imperative and what sets Jet Lending apart from any other lender is the fact that we go above and beyond for our clients. So let me give you an example of what great customer service is like. <clears throat> Let's say you got a property in Oak Forest and you want to know what the values are on a Saturday. All I need is a little bit of detailed information. One, what, <clears throat> what's your purchase price? Repair amount, estimated. ARV, estimated. Hey, do you have any photos? That's okay if you don't. I'll go ahead and give you a snapshot of what I think the property and the numbers are gonna look like for, for the loan estimate. Shoot that over to you, say, okay, hey, look, that looks good. I'm gonna ask you to go take pictures and walk it with your contractor and, and give me a better detail. You shoot those uh, photos over on a Monday, I'm able to give you a more detailed uh, picture of what that loan could look like. Hey, you're happy with the numbers? We move forward over order and appraisal, three to five business days is back. We're closing <clears throat> 72 hours from clear to close. I want to talk to y'all a little bit uh, in detail about owner occupied properties because I think we get a surge of phone calls from time to time about this, uh, this subject. <clears throat> a hard money lender is not allowed to lend on your own personal property or property that you're trying to buy for personal use, be a homestead, second home, anything like that. Um, we're only al allowed to lend on investment properties. What do I mean by an investment property? A property that you plan to hold as a rental or Airbnb or a property that you plan to flip. What do I mean by a flip? You buy it, you fix it, and you sell it for a profit. There's a big misconception out there in the lending industry. Uh, I think realtors are, the, are probably the most phone calls that we get. Um, about, hey, trying to make a deal happen for owner-occupied pro properties. Unfortunately, you know, I wish that we could help you in this arena, but we're not allowed. We'd love to get, you know, your client base of investors over here to work with us at Jet Lending, but if your client is planning on using this property for personal use, I'm sorry, we're just not allowed to do that. All right, now we want to talk to you today about our non-QM 30-year products and the future of that. I wanted to bring Alex Burak in. He's our Senior Vice President of Business Development. Me and Alex have been working together for, what, almost four years now? Mm -hmm. And just wanted to get his expertise and what he thinks and kind of, you know, go back and forth on where we see this going. <clears throat> go ahead, Alex. Yeah, so um, what we're seeing right now for a non-QM 30-year product what uh, non-QM stands for is non-qualified mortgage. So these are mortgages that are not uh, Freddie or Fannie Mae, VA, USDA, or anything like that. They're going to be for more investment purposes only for those who are going to be holding for real estate for rent or like an Airbnb or VRBO type situation. A lot of these loans are backed up by like Wall Street, Wall Street. and things like that. Um, right now, uh, in our market, they are pulling back a little bit on how they lend to those properties in the past. What you're seeing is more and more non-QM 30-year products are coming out, but they're not leveraged or rated like they were prior to the pandemic. So what you're seeing is um, a little bit lower loan to values, a little bit higher interest rates, um, and even the requirements for experience may be greater. Uh, these products as they're coming out right now aren't for everybody, but they may be a solution for what you're trying to do today. Uh, so as the weeks and months keep going and as the market fluctuates, you're going to start seeing uh, different 30-year products come into the market. Uh, there are some options today, but um, just be prepared to reevaluate your 
um, situation is a little bit different. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of telling all my clients. Hey, you know, this is what we have today. In six months, in six weeks, it's changing daily. So, you know, you just got to be patient. A lot of people aren't, aren't uh, acceptable to what we have right now. Just wait a little bit. We'll be able to probably offer you something a little bit better in the coming future. Yeah, and so what I suggest is take a look, get um, get a quote, see if it works for your business plan today. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, let's see where the uh, the future stands for what the rates and terms are going to be like in the next coming weeks and months. If it does work for you, and this is something that you need for your business plan to grow and excel, then let's offer that product to you to make sure that you can keep growing and keep getting your inventory where it needs Absolutely. to be in Absolutely. any market. Absolutely. Well, Alex, I appreciate you. Uh, coming on today and uh, just giving us a little bit of information about our non-QM. Um, you know, we're always here to evaluate any deal that you have. We're always here to help you. If you ever need anything at all, I'm Rob Trigg with Jet Lending. You can reach me at 903-806-4400. My email address is rob at jetlending.com. I hope to get your next evaluation done in a timely manner. Thanks, guys.